who has two thumbs and didn't want to do her hair today because she's lazy? Me! Me! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and welcome to my channel. I'm saying welcome, not welcome back, because that means that you may not have been here before, but you haven't been back yet if you are new. We don't know. Also, I'm wearing a Legend of Zelda shirt. That's why it's green, and that's why there's a little point here. So I don't know why I want to point that out, but it was significant, I guess, if you like Zelda. Today's video is gonna be about dreams. And these dreams are not the one that Shia LaBeouf was talking about where it's like, don't let your dreams be dreams. The dreams that you have when you're sleeping at night and they kind of bring up memories and things that you repress. I remember in my AP psychology class that I took my senior year of high school that dreams are just parts of your unconscious mind, like memories that you repress, like I said, that have just been pushed back and they just kind of peer out and seem through your mind while you're sleeping because your mind's just like at bay during a REM sleep, so it allows these things to just resurface. People who study dreams also believe that there may be specific things that you may interact with or things that happen in your dream that are symbols. One time I had a dream that I lost all my teeth and no one would take me to the dentist because they didn't really think it was a problem that I lost all my teeth, but it really was. But supposedly teeth or losing teeth is a symbol of something in your life that is not complete. And I don't remember when I had this dream, but it probably would have been a time when I was like, maybe did not finish or had to do an essay <laughs> for a assignment or something. <laughs> dreams are weird because you don't have just one dream a night. You have multiple dreams pushed together. That's why sometimes they may end up like you're in one place and then you're in another place and you don't really know how you got there or it doesn't really make sense or how you're talking to this person but you don't even know who they are kind of thing. Let's say you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I don't remember her dreaming last night. Maybe I didn't dream of anything. That's not true. You're always dreaming when you're in REM sleep. So no matter what you're dreaming, you just sometimes may wake up in the morning and not remember it. Now when it comes to dreaming for me, I've had a lot of weird dreams and my superpowers, I have to say, with dreaming are one, that I remember pretty much a lot of my dreams, and I can remember some dreams that I've had when I was really little. A lot of people don't remember their dreams or they forget. And two, I sometimes lucid dream. Lucid dreaming is when you can kind of control your dream. So like, you kind of have this realization when you are in your dream and you're like, oh wait, I'm about to fall off a cliff. Oh, I'm not gonna fall off a cliff because this is a dream. I'm not gonna really die, so I should, you know, fly away so you decide to imagine yourself flying away and then from there you can control what happens in your dream but my lucid dreaming is a little bit different because when I realize that I'm in a dream I wake up or I tell myself to wake up so and it doesn't happen in my nightmares it only happens in very specific dreams I have this one dream that I've been having since I guess when I graduated high school. And it's the same dream, it just takes place in different schools that I've gone to. So my elementary school, my middle school, my high school, and even my college. But the premise is, is that I have to get to a class and it's not the same class. It's, it could be English, it could be math, it could be really anything. And I'm running late and I can't find the classroom. And I always had the same teacher, no matter what. Like she was a math teacher that I had in high school my senior year, and I didn't really like her. I really don't like her, I still don't. And when I would get to the classroom, I would finally sit down, she would say to me, you're late, and I would say, I know, I'm sorry, I didn't know where the classroom was, I couldn't find it, and then she'll give me my work. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not in high school anymore, I already did this. And I'm like, wait a minute, this has to be a dream, because I wouldn't be doing this again. And then I wake up. It's not really lucid dreaming where I can control like, oh wait, like this is a dream, like I'm running late, like this isn't really happening, let's see what happens next, what if I think of this? It's really I just control that this is happening and I just wake myself up. But I remember dreams from when I was like really little. Like I remember this one dream I had maybe when I was like in early elementary school where I went to the mall with my mom and she was yelling at me because I, she got me an ice cream cone and I was eating it in the store and she was yelling at me to not eat it in the store with her. She wanted me to leave the store and then I started crying because I wanted to eat my ice cream in the store with her so I wouldn't lose her. And then I guess like the ice cream started melting and it started flooding the whole store with the ice cream. 
this is what I remember. Another weird thing about my dreams is that sometimes I'm me and I'm I have a first person point of view of me like I normally do, but then sometimes it's like a third person point of view where like it's like you're watching a movie of yourself interacting with other people. If you have any weird dreams or reoccurring dreams, let me know in the comments. Maybe we can help each other figure out what it all means. You're awesome, I'm awesome, and thank you for watching this video. And if you want, you can press subscribe to let you know when I post more videos. And if you really like me a lot, you can always follow me on all my social media sites, which are in the description box below. So yeah, maybe this is a dream. Ooh, Inception. Just kidding, it's not a dream. It's just a video. I'll see you guys around. Bye. <laughs> it's a school dream. That happens at least, like, every three months. Maybe when I, since I'm done with school, it won't happen as often, but you never really know. These things don't go away. Unconscious mind.